All right, before we hop in the shenanigans, I got some stuff to show you. So first and foremost, the scissor is still available. Again, if you watch uh, my series on the, the Poké Day Challenge, which I've been doing on the channel every every other week, basically. All right, this card is still for trade. Again, I've gotten a lot of offers, but there's nothing that really stands out yet, so I'm still kind of hanging on to them. And I feel like this is probably my, my final card when the challenge ends in July, which we have like a couple weeks left. Again, in case you're new to this, Poké Deke is a member of the community. He set out a challenge to a bunch of content creators, and basically we start with one card, we get 10 trades, and then whoever has the highest value card at the end, they win, and then we auction off the charity. So for right now, it's out of Scizor. If you have any other uh, offers you want to send me, you can just uh, drop it in the comments of this video. You can reach out to me on Instagram. Although, I want to point out, my Instagram has a lot of spam, so I prefer you either comment down below in this video, or you can just even email me, which is linked in my Twitter bio. So something else I got is uh, two LC packs, which I'm not going to open yet. I'm going to save these for a special occasion. I bought these from the homie Kobe. Big shout out to Kobe, who actually did my last trade with the Scizor. He did a box break, and the second I found out, I'm like, you know what? I've never opened LC packs before. I'm going to do it. And I think one of these might be heavy. I don't know what the weights are for LC packs, so like I said, it's my first time. But one is definitely heavier than the other one, so I assume that one's gonna have a hollow. But again, the thing that's cool about LC packs is the, the chance that you get um, the, the reverses. The reverses are the big deal in the Legendary Collection. So we can get a reverse Charizard, you can get a reverse Mewtwo is what I really, really want. So I'm open these, both of them at some point in the near future. And finally, I got this. <laughs> I don't know if TCA Gaming has posted this video yet, but TCA, uh, I emailed TCA, I was looking for base set packs the other day, and I emailed them right as he got done uh, actually recording a Shadowless pack that he uh, is going to upload on his channel, which should be available at some point in the near future, if not, should already be live. And he mentioned that he had two heavy Shadowless packs. Now, this is not 100% confirmed Shadowless, but the batch that he got was Shadowless. So this is actually a Shadowless, this sounds so confusing. Basically, if you have these like short crimps, and uh, it says tradable on the bottom, it doesn't mean it's guaranteed shadowless. Now, if the crimps were short, it is guaranteed. But in this case, it is short, but he did open the other pack and confirm that the set that he got was shadowless. So this is actually a heavy shadowless base set pack, which I'm probably going to open at some point in the future. Maybe I might say this in my 100k special, I don't really know. But I, I, did, I had to snag this because the price was pretty decent for what I believe shadowless packs will go for. And by the time I even open it, it's probably going to be worth like four times the amount because Pokemon has been ridiculous in the last couple of months. But, um... The main reason why I clicked on here, I got some more Team Rocket packs, and this is the last time I'm doing this right now. Let me just say right now. Uh, and actually, this might be my last time, period, because these, these packs are just getting ridiculous. And I'm 195% sure these are weighed once again. And my stupid ass bottom from, from the same source. Now, you're probably wondering, Ryan, if you thought the last packs uh, were weighed, why'd you buy them anyways? Well, because the prices were pretty decent for what these go for and uh the big treasure inside this aren't actually the hollows but it is well the hollows are a treasure but it's gonna be more of a bonus but it's the dragonite now, in case you guys didn't know i did a video on this uh last week but there is a air dragonite that was accidentally printed in the uncommon section so it's supposed to be 5 out of 82 it's supposed to be a holographic dragonite but if you get a 5 out of 82 non hollow dragonite that is an error card it's worth like five grand i'm talking about as a nearman card it's worth like five grand now something I want to point out, I did weigh them from, from the uh, lightest to heaviest. They're all basically the same weight, but this one might be... This one might have something in it, because this one was drastically heavier than the rest. But then again, you know, with how it was printed, it might just be... I don't know. To me, I still think this is light, but we'll figure it out. But something that was odd to me was this pack right here. Um, as you can see, the, it, it looks completely... Di like, this one's all shiny and stuff, but this one's not. And the weight on this one was completely comically, like, lower. So this one actually had me worried it was a fake. Because, like, even... I mean, look at this. Look at the comparison. Look at this. So, if this is fake, I'm just going to send this to the seller and just ask what's going on because, again, it was kind of weird. Let's go ahead and go down the list. You know what? Let's open this one. We'll open this one first, and then we'll open the, the weird one. Let's put this all in the back. So let's see what we got. Again, the big hit that we want out of this is going to be the non hollow Dragon Knife. If that happens, it's going to be an exciting time. Here we go. That, that opened real smooth. You got to love it when the packs open real smooth. All right, here we go. Like I said, I'm expecting these all to be non hollows when it comes down to it. But I mean, you can still get some hits there. Like if you get non hollow Dragonite, the, the non hollow version, not the error version. Or if you get like the Charizard, the Blasters, I still think they're kind of worth it. But I'm not going to hold my breath. Magnemite, Dratini. Now it's funny, every time Leonardo opens these, he'll get like maybe one Squirtle out of like, I don't know, a big batch. And I'm always looking for, but he gets a lot of Charmanders. And for me, I get all the Squirtles. And it's like, it's, it's like flipped. So it's like, I'm looking for the Charmanders, he's looking for Squirrels, and we're both getting the, 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 the basic Pokemon stars that we both want. But watch me get a bunch of Charmanders in this video. Cough, or not Charmanders, but uh, Squirrels in this video. Drowsy, Eevee, uh, Meowth, the rare should be next. And of course, Dark Golbat. So here we go. Ma Magikarp. 
Wow, I don't remember the last time I pulled a a magic carpet in this set. This kind of threw me off for a second. Poor guy. Uh, <laughs> I saw the white background. And then Dark Muck, so nothing out of the first one. Okay, I believe it comes after Dark Primate. If I remember correctly, that's how it was printed on the sheets. And I don't know if the sheets are like put together exactly how they are. Like if, if it's printed next to each other, that's how they print it or how they like sort it, but yeah. Okay, so this pack, like I said, is weird because it's, even the, the texture on this feels weird. It feels fake. This one feels super fake, so let's see what, what the case is. But I mean, again, the thing about Watsi is Watsi was infamous for having multiple prints for everything, so... For all I know, this is just one of those weird prints. Whoa, look, dog, this is like water damaged or something. Look at that. You see that? I mean, the cards look real. Are they real? No, the cards are definitely real. And we'll do the rip test here in a second. So this Zubat is about to get bodied. There's Charmander, like I said. <laughs> I pulled the squirrels, but today we're getting Charmanders. Charmander, Dark Radicate, Diglett. There's a Drowsy, Dratini, whoops, Dark Vileplume is the rear. Dude, how are they so damaged? Dark Flareon, and Imposter Oak's Revenge. So let's actually see if this is real. It is 100% real. The way you can tell a card is real is if it has that little layer in the middle. Why was that pack so weird? I mean, look how damaged. You know what? I'm starting to feel like this was like partially re Hold on, let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11. Still had 11 cards. I don't know. So the weight on this was so much drastically lower. That's why I was like, is this is either fake or it's reseal or something. But the fact that there's so much damage on the inside is also weird too. It's like water damage or something. I don't know. Like, I mean, like I said, look at the Zubat. This is uh, very, very questionable. Well, lucky enough for us, this pack wasn't that great. So we didn't have to worry about that. All right, let's get into the next one. We got Giovanni in the front. Now, again, I'm not going to do this anymore. I say this right now, but I feel like it's going to change down the line. The reason why is because these packs are getting very, very hard to find, number one. And two, it's getting more and more expensive. On top of that, hunting for an error card like Dragonite is, is kind of like, uh, it's a lost cause in a way. It's one of those things that's just most likely not going to happen. And if it happens, it's like, this is a win. <laughs> like these packs, as well as the last one, were hella expensive. And I'm definitely not going to make any money back, which is fine. I just, I'm, like I said, I'm hoping it's more for the journey. Um, and to experience at least once. But if, uh, but it's not one of those things that I'm just gonna pursue because it's just, it's just not really a game that you're gonna, you know, win if you keep doing it. I mean, you might, I don't know, but I've seen a lot of these openings in the past that just, you know, just came nowhere close to pulling that Dragonite. Um, I like how I'm pulling all the Charmanders now, despite saying that all I do is pull Squirtles. <laughs> Yo! You know what? That was worth it right there. That was worth it. It's the non-hollow uh, Dark Charizard, but you know that was still worth it. That's cool, my boy. We got Dark Jolteon in the back, Nightly Garbage Run, and then Dark Vaporeon. Hey, I like how I got both of those. I'm going to sleeve up this Dark Charizard. You know, I mean, you can get this graded. Uh, this is probably not going to be a 10. Yeah, there's no... I mean, you never know. Might as well, you know. Because I told myself, worst case scenario, if I... <laughs> I said this last week, and then last week, obviously, this didn't, know, didn't know, uh, happen. I told myself, worst case scenario, I could pull myself a couple of uh, non hollow Dark Charizards, and we'll call it a win. <laughs> that didn't happen in that video at all. Okay, see so what we got in the next one. We still got three to go. Here we go. We got Dark Radicate in the front. I think Team Rocket as a set is just super dope. I feel like I wish I could have had more chance to open this in the past, but like, uh, I don't know. This is a, uh, is this bent in the corner? It's not. Um, this set has become so hard to come by. It's so expensive. I tried to get a booster box of it, but it's it's like, it's untouchable at this point. I think it's like $8,000 for a first edition booster box, which is like crazy. Voltor, we got Diglett, Sleep. There's Squirtle. I'll put Squirtle in the back for good luck, actually. Uh, Magnemite. Nani? Oh! Oh, we got a hollow! We got a hollow! Wow! Okay. I take that back. So these are not weighed at all. Okay. That is actually kind of fire. And then we got Nightly Garbage Run, Dark Vaporeon, and then Dark Kadabra. Bro, that one threw me off. I did not expect to get a hollow at all. Because the thing is, long stem long stem packs are actually in general they i feel like they weigh uh they're supposed to be heavier because i mean they're, they're longer aren't they these are like all under these are like 21.8 these these do not count as 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 uh heavy packs in general but you know what we'll take that uh, dark machine that's beautiful i love this card i mean now i'm not mad at all that i did this because you know at least i'm at least i'm gonna get a hollow out of this not uh the, the rocket attack uh team rocket 
not sneak attack, but uh, Team Rocket. Uh, Team Rocket, uh, what was it? Here comes Team Rocket. That's what it is. Okay. So now I wonder if both of these are going to be hollows because these were. Uh, I'm waiting from lightest to heaviest. So let's see what happens. Let's see what we got. I mean, yo, if we walk away with the hollow Charizard, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> It's gonna be a good day. Now I kind of want to go back and buy some more cards from that same source. The only reason why I said I wasn't going to is because I just assumed they're all weighed. You know what? We'll see what happens towards the end of the video. How my mood changes. Ekans, Abra, Slowpoke, Machop, Squirtle. Oh, Charmander. Actually, I was thinking Charmander. I'm gonna put you in the back. Actually, you can hang out with your brother over here. Voltorb, Mankey. The rare should be next. Dark Blastoise. So see, this is the weird part. This is a heavier pack. It's a heavier pack, but it's actually just a Blastoise. Dark Kadabra. Ah, boss's way. Dark Machoke. Yeah, I believe if you get the actual uh, Dark Dragonite, it should be... No, it should be... I believe it's first, actually, because I've seen a, I seen a video get pulled, because someone posted it in my video last week. If you pull... Um, if you go with the next card after the rare, that's where the Dragonite might be. You know what? I'm not even going to try to say where you might find it, just because I'm not really 100% sure. Let's see what we got. Let's put these over here. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Last pack. Imagine this last pack gives me a hollow dark Charizard or Dragonite. And then also the non hollow air Dragonite. Yeah, that would be kind of fire. That would be kind of fire. All right, here, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. I feel like I should buy a couple of these packs in first edition. Just kind of keep them. I don't know. I like to I like to collect seal, sealed packs right now because it's a lot of fun. I don't, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm like super into it. And I feel like I should get a couple Team Rocket packs just to have. Because you never know. I mean, these these packs are getting kind of crazy. There's a non-destroyed Zubat in the front. We got Oddish, Grimer, Ekans, Abra, Charmander again. Should be the next card. Oh, just kidding. Should be the next card after this. Bruh. Dark Blastoise Hollow! Yo! You know what? I might get some more packs now. Yo, that's actually really good centering, too. I might, ha I might have to get some graded. And then we got Electrode. <laughs> Porygon. And no Air Dragonite. But yo! Yo, what a video! What started as just me expecting to get shafted ended up being pretty fire, actually. Yo, the condition on this Blasto is actually fantastic, too. It's not gonna be, uh, nah. Actually, I just realized it's super off center at the top. Look at that. It's also got some excess um, cardboard at the front, but at the top. But I don't know if they take take uh, oh, the points away for that because of that. Okay. All right. We're going to end it at that. Now I want to get more packs. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? You know what? I'm going to upload this video. I'm probably not going to pull the trigger immediately on more packs, but we'll see. Because like I said, the fact that I thought I was going to get literally nothing had me like, yeah, this is a waste. But knowing that there's hollows in there, worst case scenario, you can pull like a hollow dark blasters or Charizard, or in this case, my champ, uh, and Blastoise, and even a, a non hollow dark Charizard, and then get them graded, and then you get something out of it. But like, knowing that I was gonna get nothing made me not wanna do it again. But now it's like, you know what? Maybe we should try again. I don't know. But then again, also, hunting for an error card is like ridiculous in the first place, and you shouldn't really do it. So, you know what? I'm going to just upload this video and see what happens and maybe how my opinion changes over the course of the next couple of days. It's going to dictate whether or not I do this again. Yeah. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys uh, have any, if you guys have any offers for the Scizor. Just like I said, reach out to me by dropping a comment down below. You can also reach out to me by email, which is what I prefer. And you can also, I guess, hit me on Instagram or Twitter. Although, there's a lot of stuff that's going to get in the way and it's, uh, it's very, very spammy over there, so I might not see that. But uh, we'll keep the fun going. And like I said, stay tuned for the LC opening as well as the Shadows opening at some point as well in the next, uh, I have no idea, in the future. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.